Hi, Pi people. It's the Average Man here. Um, we've got another case to show you today. Uh, so this is the Picano from Steve Royd Marker. Um, this is kind of a, a special case. This is a uh, Visa or Vesa case. Not too sure how you meant to say that. So these um, four points here. These are the kind of thing that mounts on the back of your TV. So normally you'd have a, a wall mounting bracket, and this is the kind of industry standard, 100 by 100. Um, and this is actually a case with a Raspberry Pi that holds it either onto the back of your TV. Um, or onto your mount and then onto your TV uh, or you can stack these, there's loads of features but what I'll do is I'll just put it together first just give you an idea of how it all goes together and what it looks like inside and then we'll go through it so here's my Pi and here's the transparent uh, core so let's put that on there, now everything slots into place here yes it does, there you go so even things like there's a hole here for the capacitor uh, you've got GPIO, all that kind of thing. And obviously the light can shine through here as well, so this all makes sense in a bit once I put it together. So I'm going to hold these screws in place, and I'm going to grab my watches that are impossible to get off of a table. Here we go. That's one. And a little screw here as well. Oh, why did I make this thing so small? Hang on. There we go. I'm going to try and put that one on there. Just like that to start with. Uh, there we go. Okay, let's slowly go into place. Let's put the next one up. So the screw goes through. There it is. Again, pick up the washer. Washer goes on there like that. Another screw. There we go, so if I just do those properly. Amazing tool. Little Stanley uh, screwdriver pen. Great for things like this. I'm going to have a big old set of screwdrivers out all the time. There we go. Okay, so that's the Pi on the transparent core. Um, so it's, it's all secure there, like I say, it's, your light comes through there and it's all held in place, so that's good. So next I'll put this onto the main body. So this is the main body uh, of the case. It's got rubber feet and the bottom, so these are kind of, I guess, optional because I have this uh, as a media centre, but I have this just on my on my kind of media table because I just think it looks too cool to hide behind the TV. Um, so I have the rubber feet on which come with the product and then if you, if you want to um, have it on your TV, you take those off and you can just mount it onto the back. But that's there. So now I'll put this onto there like that. Um, what do we do next? Next we've got these brackets here. So I'll put these on. These are like spaces. The whole case is kind of made of spaces and, and cheap metal. It's, I think it's a really nice design. I think he's done a great job. I'm guessing Steve's in this trade already because um, it's just very, it's just really well thought out. Um, I know the market's flooded with little plastic cases, but if you want a certain bit that's a bit more special, if you want to show off your pie to all those friends and family who have no idea what rails your pie is and, and never seem to understand what it is, then this is a good one for that. So next, um, we're going to line this up on here, but we've got some washers to go underneath first. So I'm just going to place these very carefully on top. That's one there. Yeah. Definitely can't get these off the table once they're on. Okay, there's no one there. There's that one there. If anyone wants to invent a tool for taking washers off a table, put me down for three of them. I think you make a lot of money. Okay, now the delicate bit, we're going to lay that on top. Now this might not necessarily be the advised way of putting it together, but it's one of those things. Once you've had a, a case for a few weeks or a few or anything for that matter, you, you kind of develop your own way to do the things. Okay, so I'm gonna put these screws in here. That's one. I'll tighten these up later on. That's two. See so you even learn to count in my videos, it's brilliant. That's three. You can see there, Steve's put his name in there, rightly so. I, I believe this is laser cut. I, I'll assume this is laser cut. I don't know. I'm not up on my manufacturing methods, but I can't imagine this would be easy to create any other way. But I'll ask Steve and I'll see what he says. 
Okay, lastly, we've got the four Allen bolts here. And again, I think it's a nice touch. You could go with crosshead screws. You probably could have got away with even using, well, nylon screws if you really wanted to. I'm sure it would have been fine, but it wouldn't have looked the part. Allen screws have just got a, they've just got a nicer look to them. So let's just finish these on. I'll put these on here. Now I won't, I've got my allen key here. I mean, obviously that's all you need to do is just tighten them up, not too much obviously because you'll bend the metal. I was going to say I won't tighten them up, but hey I'm doing it, so there we go. I'm playing it by ear, what do you know? Okay, <clears throat> so that's the Pi Kano all created. So there's your pie in the middle. And again, so you've got your transparent core here and you've got the main spaces and the rubber feet. Pie's got enough space, they're not short out the bottom, plenty of space. Obviously it's not going to get hot, there's plenty of air going around the pie there. That transparent cord sits just off the pie, so that's fine. And it's kind of really nice, you know, it's totally protected, but you can see the pie in there. A lot of cases now we kind of hide it away, and you know, that works for some things, but I like the fact you can see it, but it's very well protected as well. So you've got the rubber feet there, so mine will just sit on my table like this. But if you were uh, putting it on the back of the TV, you can just use those points here. And SD card, SD card is out, and so you can get to it, but obviously I, would, I reckon I'm going to go for one of those smaller um, adapters there, and you could probably easily fit that in there. I think that'd look a bit better. Obviously, you can get to your power, HDMI, GPO. You can get to. I'd imagine you'd want to use a belt or something like that. Uh, but I think this is really this is more for your kind of display. Your, your this is this is Raspberry MC all over it. I mean, you can use it for what you want, but this is definitely one for your media center. As I say, it's Vesa 100 by 100. So my TV is it's a bit of an older TV. It's a bit wide. I think I've got 200 by 200. So you can buy adapters for a couple of pounds that just open those out bit further so you could just bolt those to the bottom there. Um, yeah. Oh that's it, yeah, so it's stackable. Um, so let's say you bought two of these. You can undo these and connect them together, your space connect together, and you can have a number stacked on top of each other. And there's a picture of that on the website. So to buy one of these it's uh, pikano.info and I've got it open here. And uh, you can stack them on top of each other which is really cool. I think that's a really nice touch. And in things like these screws here, the the hole that there is, it's actually been countersunk just to add to the design. I think that's a really nice touch. Like I say, you've got Steve's name there as well. Uh, the edges are all finished nicely. There's nothing sharp there. There's no problem there at all. Um, so this is the Pycano. That's the case there. Um, lastly, I have something that you can get with cables. You can actually tuck them away. So let's say you had a power cable going here. Um, you can come out there and, and put them in between the spaces and then in between again. So you have a power cable going that way and then back through. You can do the same with the HDMI going under here. So you can have all your cables kind of coming out one way, one direction, and then you can kind of zip tie them and go down. And that was one of the ideas Steve had, and one of the one of the ways one of the reasons he designed it this way. So I think it was a really nice touch again. I think it's just a really well thought out product. So that's thirty nine ninety five. Um yes it's more expensive than your kind of run of the mill plastic case but it's not a run of the mill plastic case it's a lovely bit of design a lot of thought and time and effort has gone into that and of course you've got a lot of metal there as well a lot of material so don't expect a cheap case you, you get what you pay for in this trade so there you go photo 95 pi .info. Um I am the average man that's average man versus raspberry uh, I'm on twitter um, at average man versus pi I'm also on instagram I'm on pinterest I'm probably on some more but I can't think of them right now um, so yeah hopefully I'll speak to you all soon cheers